In light of her financial difficulties and Croy Bierman's divorce, Kim Zolshik explains why she is actually selling the family's possessions. Although Kim Zolshik claims it has nothing to do with the $230,000 court judgment she and her estranged husband were hit with last month, she is selling stuff from her own closet. A follower questioned her on Thursday during her Instagram stories Q and a session, inquiring as to whether she was liquidating her possessions due to her financial difficulties. The former reality TV star said she has a ton of stuff I bought over the years so selling what I don't want without going into detail about her financial or marital struggles. That's it Red Heart. Prior to selling her own goods, the 45-year-old gained notoriety in July for attempting to profit quickly from in the closet of her daughter Brielle. She mentioned $500 Louis Vuitton shoes, $700 Prada boots, and $5,500 and $7,000 Chanel purses at the time. It goes without saying that the former cast member of Real Housewives of Atlanta has been going through a difficult financial time as a result of her divorce from Croy Bierman for the past year. According to a notice shared by Fulton County, the estranged couple's seven-bedroom Milton, Georgia mansion was placed up for auction in February following their default on a $1.65 million loan they obtained in 2016. Bierman, 37, filed court paperwork in August requesting a Georgia judge to allow him and the reality star sell their property after the IRS placed a $1.1 million lien on it, despite the fact that they ultimately came to an agreement to keep it dot that. He said that the Bravolberti's reckless spending habits and love for online gambling would cause the luxurious pad to go into foreclosure once more if they were unable to sell it. Since then, they have been given permission to sell the $3 million mansion in an attempt to reduce their financial strain. At the time of Bierman's pleas, Rolls-Royce had brought the couple to court for failing to make payments on their $400,000 Rolls-Royce Cullinan, and Saks, Capital One was already suing Zolshik for accruing over $150,000 in delinquent credit card debt. Target also filed a lawsuit against the couple for failing to pay their $2,482.24 credit card debt.